Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 6th of 2024 is titled Ringed Ice Giant Neptune. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the planet Neptune off in the distance and we can see the rings associated with it. And we can also see some of the structures on the are in the atmosphere of the planet. Now, we can also see the ring system of Neptune. Now, this is the first time that it has been able to be imaged since 1989. Now, why such a long time? Well, back in August of 1989, the Voyager's two spacecraft flew out by Neptune and was able to image it and discover the rings. But telescopes on Earth, because of how faint they are, are not able to pick up the detail of the rings. So this is the first time with the James Webb Space Telescope, a much more powerful space telescope, that we can actually see those rings once again and continue to study them. Now, not only are rings here present, but there's also moons present. And in fact, what looks like a very bright star up to the upper left hand side is really not a star at all. That is actually the largest moon of Saturn and one of the large moons of the solar system known as Triton. Triton there is actually looks even brighter than Neptune because of the way the light is reflecting off it. It's very icy surface and reflects a lot of light. Whereas Neptune is a little bit duller. It actually absorbs a lot of the light. And in fact, you can see that most of its surface is pretty dark. That's because it has a methane on it in its atmosphere that absorbs infrared light. Now the James Webb Space Telescope tends to look at those longer wavelengths, longer wavelength visible and infrared light. So most of the light from Neptune is actually absorbed by its atmosphere. And around it, we can see those distinct clouds in the atmosphere that are up above most of that methane, because that makes the planet, those little sections of the planet, then look a lot brighter because they are not, the light is reflecting off of them before it gets absorbed by the methane lower down in the atmosphere. Now, the Triton is not the only uh, moon here that we see in this image. There are actually several moons, and in fact, seven of Neptune's moons are visible in this image. Now, that's about half of the known moons of Neptune in just this one image there. Triton, though, is the only large moon comparable to our own moon, and the other five large moons of the other giant planets. So that would be the four large moons around Jupiter and the large moon Titan around Saturn. So there are really then about seven really large moons in the solar system, including our own. And the rest of the moons are considered mid-sized to very small objects. And that's where re the rest of Neptune's moons would be, would be classified. Much smaller objects, but there are those handful of very interesting moons that are very large and comparable, in fact, in some cases larger than our own moon. So that was our picture of the day for September 6th of 2024. It was titled Ringed Ice Giant Neptune We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.